Hi, welcome to One for the Road, where we navigate sobriety, recovery, and life in general. Tune in as we share our experience and opinions while answering any questions you may have. My name is Marissa, and this is my co-host, Judy. Hello. Hi, how's it going? It's going good. Um, how's it going with you? It's it's good. I just want to remind everybody to like, share, subscribe, follow us on Twitter. We're on Twitter. We're on Twitter, um, Spotify, Amazon Music, Google Music. We're Apple. on a lot of things, but We're please things. comment. Tell us how much you love us, how much you hate us. If you have a comment, question, Suggestion topic you want to talk about, mm. anything, um, we... We're your girls. Yeah, we we just love to give our opinion on everything. And um, anything. <laughs> yeah, we don't even we don't even need to be qualified for it. It's like, yeah, you know, here's, here's how I see it. It's subject to change, right? Such um, asses. I swear. So, so, there yeah. goes a motorcycle. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah. So topic of the day. We are gonna talk, we're gonna talk about like alcoholism today and like what that kind of is and what is again alcohol? yeah like again we are not doctors and right just based off of and so actually actually judy you get to take the lead today because you're gonna read a little something something yeah. and break it down and then i'm just gonna kind of share you know big surprise my experience so um you found you know like just yeah so Google Go the ahead. definition. Yeah. And well, sure. the backstory real quick, I'm, you know, going to keep it this long, hopefully, you know, that again, you know, social, um, social media platform, right. Lots of people not wanting, you not knowing if they're an alcoholic. Right. And then even if they think they might be, you know, not wanting to label themselves for sure. And I get it. And then that, and we had a conversation like, how yeah. do you know? Right. Like aside from consequences, Aside right. from that sort of stuff, you know, uh, you know, give you a obvious. lot of ways I knew. <laughs> right. For sure. However, then, then that brought up the question, right? Like, you know, we can't tell you you're an alcoholic, you know, you can't tell me I am, you know, I know from my own experience that that's where I wound up. However, there is a definition and Google had it. So this is what it looks like. Um, alcohol disorder develops when a person takes large quantity of alcohol leading to chemical changes in the brain. These changes increase the euphoric feeling that is associated with alcohol. This makes a person want to take more drink despite the harm that alcohol alcohol causes. Um, Alcohol use and abuse develops gradually over time. That was they have it under causes, but I will tell you this, the condition develops when a person consumes large quantities of alcohol, resulting in several chemical changes in the brain. Few of the symptoms include uncontrollable craving to consume alcohol, requiring more amount of alcohol for the same effect as before, presence of withdrawal symptoms on reducing or stopping alcohol. And um, that's that. So I found it interesting, the craving, right? I found it interesting, the needing more to produce the same effect over a period of time, for sure, right? Like, and I think I'm just going to jump in and then throw it over to you. Yeah. For me, it it was, I didn't know what I didn't know, right? Like, I don't remember ever being like, well, last week it only took three vodkas, to get me to this place. And this week it took five, like, right. It was never, I was never aware. I think that that's kind of what it is, you know? And then also when I finally got that effect, whatever that was, that effect wasn't enough. Right. Right. Like, well, if I feel this good, more would probably make me feel even better, Right. you know? And then it got to that point where, you know, we, where I couldn't stop thinking about it. Right. And then I couldn't stop, right. The obsession. And then I wasn't able to put myself in a position of any sort of controlled drinking. I was not able to go in. And when I would say, I'm only going to have one, you know, only have that one, you know, I can't, I really cannot bring into my memory a time where I said I was, you know, it, it was always an all or nothing thing for me. And when it was the nothing part, everybody knew I was unhappy about the nothing part. 
that's really what it comes down to. I could not do it for sure, but people suffered those consequences based on my not sure. being able to do what I wanted to do without consequence. So, you know, again, I related to that when I read it, I laughed, I laughed and I laughed and it's really not a funny thing for me as an alcoholic. It is because it's really all of the stuff, right? It's really all of the things never occurred to me when I was in the throes of any of this shit to Google, what is an alcoholic? I didn't want to know, I think, you know, and here's the thing. I also, you know, I'm a big proponent of the stigma of alcoholism and addiction, you know, I am not a fan, you know, I know it's widely accepted now more so than it was 20 years ago. However, you know, I tell somebody that I'm an alcoholic and I'm a drug addict. You're not hiring me for a job. You know what I mean? That you're going to still see me as the person under the bridge, you know, and you you know, the needle in my arm and all of those things that's what you're going to see when you look at me. It's going to be very hard. And and again, blanket statements, it's just been my experience. I'm not saying the entire world is on board with this. However, you know, I think it's very hard for people then to own that I'm an alcoholic and to own I'm an addict because of fear of retribution, right? Like what that will look like in their lives. How can you support a family? How can you support yourself? you know, what is that going to look like? And then the embarrassment that goes along with it for your family members for, right. I mean, you know, I look at it not as a badge of honor. I look at it that I have a certain amount of pride in the fact that I was able to quit it based on practicing certain principles in my life. Right. Yeah. And, um, and I would not have been able to, and was not able to until I got here. So, um, so today, right. I don't necessarily run around telling everybody what I am, except the world on YouTube. I just thought of that. Um, However, however, you know, I think that if my motive is that I want to just help the next guy that's suffering, right. To stop suffering and to live, you know, share some of that hope that, you know, by admitting what I am, I was able to get some help. And I have a better life today than I could have ever imagined. And I think that that's, that's always the thing, right? It was my, my telling everybody what I am is a small price to pay. So they can see that there is life after drugs and alcohol. Yeah. That's my, my, my personal service announcement for the day. Okay. I love it. I love it. You know, I, so I went to treatment, right? And, and when you're in treatment, they have to like diagnose you with some things ah. to like bill the insurance and like, you know, whatever. Right. And I was, I, I, I don't know what the actual diagnosis was, you know, but I came to the conclusion that I was in rehab because <laughs> I, because I was obsessed with alcohol, right? Like when I wasn't actively drinking, I was thinking about the time that I, the time I had until I was going to be able to get that next drink, you know, and, and one was too many, one more was never enough. Mm -hmm. Like it did not matter. Right. Like there was a full blown obsession with the idea and the actual intake of alcohol. Right. Like I just got, and I drink in the mornings before work. I was just talking about like drinking, um, like Jose Cuero makes these like little cans of like margaritas, whatever, you know? And I was like talking about how I would drink those on like my lunch break. I thought it was like the perfect amount of alcohol for a lunch break. (laughs) That's awesome. I I love it. I know it's, it was a whole thing. And I actually forgot to tell you that when we were on the phone the other day, but I'll, I'll totally tell you. (laughs) You When we get off for sure. Yeah. Totally, totally funny story. Um, and like, there was, there was totally like this obsession. There would be those moments in the morning where I'd be like, well, I'm not going to drink tonight. Right. Like actively thinking about not drinking and then getting out of work. And I swear to God, my car just knew exactly where to go. Right. Autopilot. It just was going to the liquor store, whether I liked it or not. Right. And I no longer had a choice. Right. Right. I felt as though I no longer had a choice that I had to drink. I was drinking whether I wanted to or not. And there was a lot of times where I was like, I don't want to drink, but it was so powerful within me that I couldn't not drink, you know? 
And then came the point where when I would stop drinking, when I would manage to be able to like not drink, you know, say I just went home, I, I, I was able to make it home at night. Well, then the withdrawal would start to happen. And then I would start to feel all those effects of not having that, that substance in my body, you know, and I knew, you know, and that, that's like alcohol dependency, right? Like I learned, your body. I learned about like alcohol dependency, whatever, which is just a cute way to not say that I'm an alcoholic, right? Like to say I'm alcohol dependent to me, you're saying I'm a fucking alcoholic, you know what I mean? And, and but I, your body was myself, dependent though. Let's be clear. It's a medical for sure. 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 Right. And so that's where I came to the conclusion, right? When I was in treatment and they told me to look back on my drinking, that's what that looked like. Right. And when I would sit in all the AA meetings or NA meetings and stuff like that, like I fit the bill for what they described also. Mm. Like I was like, Oh yeah. Like oh. that, you know, like, Oh, it's a progressive thing. Like, okay. Like it's a three, it's a mental, physical, and spiritual. Like what? You know, like I totally, <laughs> right. like I latch, you know, any, be it rehab, be it AA, be it any, any way you want to, you know, any A, right. Any A or anything, anything, anything like the alcohol, sure. like that's me. That's me, you know? And like, I just couldn't have enough, too much ego to say like, yeah, I have this thing. And I understand, you know, I understand there's a stigma to it. I don't really care. You know what I mean? Obviously I'm on fucking YouTube and every social media platform talking about how I suffer from, you know, because I, my belief is that it's a disease, you know, for sure. But and and it's true. No, if at some, you know, I, there is alcoholism in my family. It doesn't run rampant, but I, I'm sure that it doesn't help, you know, like right. I, whether who knows who knows how I actually had it you know that your description said like drinking large amounts you know I have heard of people that don't drink large amounts and end up being alcoholics still right they didn't drink for for I'm 26 years old I probably drank for like eight or nine years and I I'm still in the same position as people who drank for 30 40 years I drank for 30 for sure right I mean and and that's really where it comes down to right I mean every story is going to look different. And I think that, you know, and, and when you said that it is a disease, you know, it's not just because one of the A's told me that drug addiction and alcohol are a disease, you know, right. I mean, it's for sure. That's where group. I, yeah. what's I mean, it's a, they, they like talk about that in the medical. Like, well, and journal. they do American like, medical yeah. association, yeah. you know, but here's the other side of that is that When I say things like relatively new, let's keep in mind, I'm of a certain age, right? So, you know, new can be 20 years, you know, just saying, just saying, you know, but, but it is right. I mean, here's the thing you look back, you know, back in the fifties, you know, sixties, seventies, you know, I I don't know. And so please don't quote me. And I'm sure if anybody has this information, you can comment below and let me know, but I'm thinking Somewhere in the 80s is when it was finally put into, you know, like now you're billing insurance, right? Because it's a recognized disease. Right. I'm that not, does not insane. Right. And it does not take away, you know, because that's what you used to be diagnosed as, right? You were a psychiatric patient if right. you were an alcoholic. For sure. I've got a thinking disease. We all are. Psychiatric <laughs> <patients> still. <laughs> that's a whole listen, different issue, though. <laughs> listen, I removed the drugs and the alcohol. Still. So right. that's a problem. Just right. You're going to go on record, but you know, yeah. and so, and, and that's really what it is. And so for sure you got the diagnosis, right. Yeah. From a facility, you know, I, poor me, wah, 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 did not. I know I, you can, listen. I'm going to send you to rehab. I'm going to send and you I to I'm going to sing to you in the Amy Winehouse song. Right. Oh, yeah. You're not I going to rehab. Go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Stop whining you didn't get to go. I didn't get to go. Fear of missing you whine out. One more time, I'm taking you. <laughs> Lying there, taking you. Well, listen, I could use a 30 day vacation at one of those spa lake places. Here's the get down, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> Here's the get down. You know, I didn't need to go. Okay. I had enough pain. And my story doesn't have it. I am not jealous. You know what? I'm grateful today that they told me what it looked like 
that I was able to relate that the fog had cleared just enough that I would be able to see them in me. Right. And that if I say I am an alcoholic and a drug addict, well, then damn it, I'm an alcoholic and a drug addict. And then you are going to help me. And that's all I really needed. I just needed help and I got it. And so I don't care who tells me what, right? If I say I am, then that's what I am. And I just, I guess the encouraging part of this is to let people know you're not alone, right? You don't have to call yourself an alcoholic, but there's still help. Yeah. You don't have to be, you know, label yourself any fucking thing except somebody who needs some help. And we're here to do that. Yeah. As someone that's doesn't it. want to drink anymore and can't seem to stop on their own. And I think, yeah, I, I don't know. Like if I can just short form it, right. Like the alcoholic in my eyes, in my opinion, what I see is just someone who, when they try to stop drinking and they can't, and they can't, you, you might be an alcoholic, you know what I mean? And try to control it and you can't control it. And when you control it, you don't enjoy it. And when you enjoy it, you can't control it. Like right. those things. And if you can't that's stop what the it. alcoholic looks like, for me, you know, like that's, that's like my opinion. Now here's this, here's the, here's the thing. I'm not judging whether or not you're an alcoholic, right? Like I don't give I'm a an fuck. I say an alcoholic. And if you're an alcoholic, cause you say it like, okay, cool. Like, what do you do about that? Like, do you do anything about it? Right. <laughs> so like that, Cause that's what I eventually want to know is like, if you struggle with the same things I struggle with, what are the things that you are doing Right. You know, abstinence, right, right. Like abstinence has to be one thing for me and then starts my road to recovery, right? Like what, you know, whatever. And so I, I just thought it was interesting. You know, we we talk about it and yeah. and um, well, I would be interested to see like what they say about like what a drug addict is because an alcoholic and a drug addict, like. Yeah, for sure. To me, I think it, you know, replace replace drugs with every time they said alcohol in there and it's probably the same thing but well, yeah i mean i mean because here's the thing being both right i right. looked at it and sounds I'm about like, right sounds about right you sounds know, about right <laughs> just substitute cocaine sounds right. about right you know yeah like that's kind of where i'm at i will you know just for the sake of the argument i could post something in the comments and update you on exactly the definition of well, a we drug could, addict yeah we could totally talk about it too you know like yeah. i you know, I'll, I, I do believe that like alcohol is a drug or whatever. Like I, sure. I'll classify it for myself. I'll classify it as the same thing, right? Like I'm not naive to think that like, I got a problem with alcohol, but oh, cocaine is going to be fine. <laughs> like I'm, I'm well, pretty sure. Are you mocking? Are you mocking? Yeah. Because I did I mean, think that. I, mean, I may be I mocking some it. people, not you. Yeah. Well, um, I did think that I'll just have, you know, sure. But you know. I mean, yeah, sure. I guess I am mocking you. Well, it is part of my story, right? Like, I think that, you know, I don't really have a problem with alcohol. It's the Coke I have to stay away from. Right. You know, but here's the thing. I drink the booze. I want the Coke. Like, it goes right. hand in hand in my mind. Like, I cannot, you know, I cannot separate or differentiate, right? Like, yeah, whatever, bigger, better, faster, more. Give it, I, you know. Right. Ugh, right. For God. sure. It's for crazy. sure. It's not easy being me, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Join the club. It's not easy to deal with you. I'm just kidding. Um, okay. Yeah. So that's good. I mean, if there's any comments, I mean, listen, we're not doctors. We're not experts. We are just two people sharing our experience. Um, and we cannot two diagnose alcoholics. you. Right. Yeah. Alcoholics. alcoholics, you know, just sharing our experience and our opinions, you know, which is based off our experience, you and know, strength and um, for yeah. Sure. Yeah. And so, and if you need some help, like get some help, right? Like if you need to fake, if you need to doctor diagnoses like go get that too like go talk to, get like, your paper I'm just trying to get, get myself off paper. the hook here get I'm not an paper. expert that's what I'm saying I'm not an expert and these are just our opinions and that's my disclaimer um but don't forget to like subscribe share comment get your notification button do all the stuff um uh, leave a comment on something you'd like us to talk about or yeah whatever. check us out on Spotify Amazon Music Google podcasts, whatever your streaming We're on pleasure Twitter. is. We are everywhere. Yes, um, we are all right. Everywhere. Thanks so much. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. That's all for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification button so you know when new posts are coming up. Keep coming back.